pulls it back. John Davis. Drive, driven forward by Davy. Does well. Twelve meters from touch. Here we go again. Eagles on the move, thrown forward and just can't quite make it. Number 17, Steve Thorpe. Back to Davy and now Walker driving through the heart of the Batley defence, but again he stopped in his tracks. Davy across to Kyle Briggs. Eagles just on the 10 metre line. Davy. And it's touchdown. Yeah, it is. It's, I think it's uh, number seven, Rambaney, who touches it down. And the Eagles get the first try of the afternoon. Great work from them down the centre of the pitch. And the Eagles have the first score. Yeah, good score there from Dom. He took that well. I think the start of the match, it's been a bit uh, scrappy from both teams. You know, uh, the Eagles just getting a couple of repeat sets there. But yeah, it's been a bit scrappy. I think they just need to uh, put it up the shirts a bit, get behind a good kicking game. And the Eagles will look to convert for a six gap point lead. And it's number 13, Pat Walker, who will try and convert just to the right of the sticks. No problem. And the Eagles lead by six points to nil here against the Batley Bulldogs. Six minutes played. It's a solid start from the Eagles, just what Mark Aston would have wanted. Squires, who's got hold of the ball, knocks it back. And now Leather Barrow, he lays it on, but. They can't quite get through this Eagles defence at the moment, holding firm. Leather Barrow will knock it over the top, but it's, well, it should have been easy for Scott Turner, but he drops it. And the Eagles under a bit of pressure here. 10 minutes gone here at the Keymote Stadium. Eagles six, Bulldogs nil. go Batley again it's number 18 driving at them Tom Lillycrop he's tackled and now he's number 17 Chandler tries to get over the chatter line but he's just stopped two meters out and leather barrow again and the space down this right hand side Batley will surely score they do well Batley back in it straight away it was good work through the centre and thrown out to the right hand side. There was acres of space. And Batley back in this game. Yeah, nice try there from Batley. Uh, you know, they shipped it out wide quite fast. I think Sheffield will be a bit disappointed. They got off the line, a bit line speed up quicker, shut it down, forced them back inside. Yeah, it's still a scrappy game at the moment. No, none of the sides of. Uh, Took a scruff by the neck, and uh, you know, I think we just need to clean it up a bit around Rook, especially in defence for Sheffield, and uh, try and get them top in that aspect. Scrappy, tight game here so far. Nothing much to separate the Eagles and the Bulldogs after 12 or so minutes here. As the Bulldogs look to convert to level the scores at 6 all, it's right on the right hand touch line, it's a difficult one, but. Here we go, and it's not reached. And it's just the try then for Batley Bulldogs, but they'll be happy with that. Back in the game straight away. Tula Papo will get us back underway, and Smeaton driving at the Bulldogs defence. 20 metres inside the Bulldogs half. Forward comes Stroffer. Davy will go. Back into the centre, number seven, Brambaney. Close to try score early on for the Eagles. Davy again. Trying to go down the left hand side. It's good work from the Eagles. It's a great try. Well worked, fast attacking rugby. 
down that left hand side and the Eagles get the second try of the day for themselves and uh, stretch the lead further after just 16 minutes here at the Kimo Stadium Eagles 10 Bulldogs 4 yeah nice set there from uh, Sheffield uh, they tried it once and it down so they reshaped straight away straight back into the same shape and uh, QLT game Menzi a nice ball to crash over there it's Menzi, uh, Menzi Yeru with the try and Eagles will attempt to convert for further points be Pat Walker again of course successfully converted the last try wide from the left hand side it's a difficult one this but he'll fancy his chances through the posts and Eagles get a further two points here to go 12 points to four up after just 17 minutes here at the Keymote Stadium Bulldogs coming through the centre through Joe Chandler but he's tackled well and now Alex Rowe driving through the middle can he get it over the try line he's stopped just outside maybe a meter or two is it over Bulldogs think it is it is it looks over it's can't make it as a number 22 Jordan Grayson who gets the try Eagles pegged back again and Mark Aston will be disappointed with that missed their opening conversion it's going to be Scott Leatherbarrow to attempt the conversion straight through the sticks and it's Sheffield Eagles 12 Batley Bulldogs 10 after 21 minutes of the game and coming across and now trying to get forward is Tugger Gay and here comes John Davis will try and drive through can't quite get it but Tuggerge will get hold of it and now number comes forward just chipped over the top Warrens is there well he's absolutely taken out by number five Johnny Campbell Rob Warrens well, what's the referee going to give here in a word with his other official It's not gone in the Eagles' favour. And Eagles get us back underway with Tula Papa driving through the Batley defence. They stop him well this time though and he'll have to come back. And Graham Bainey will throw it over. And now here's Kyle Briggs. And the forward comes Yeri. And Yeri gets it in. He's done it, he's got the try and somehow the Eagles find themselves further ahead it's been far from vintage stuff from the Eagles so far but they'll take that every day of the week and they stretch their lead Eagles go 16 points to 10 up yeah not a great try there um, you know, we tried a long play uh, two, two bad passes really and they were nicely uh, picked up it managed to get it out to Danger Man which is yeah, yeah, only from 5 yards out that second try of the day for Menzi Yeri. Down that left hand side for the Eagles. As Eddie Batty comes back onto the field. So 
Can Brambaney put further distance between the Eagles and the Bulldogs? Inside the Bulldogs half, the Eagles come forward through number 21, Tagaloa. He stopped at his track zone. So they'll go over to that left hand side, it's Brambaney. There's more space down this right hand side for him, in all honesty. And the Eagles will go again through Briggs. Briggs. And it's a nice little punch over from Tula Papa. Smeaton finds Warrensey who dives over the touchline. It's another try for the Eagles. Nice bit of play from the Eagles. Probably the best flowing move of the game. Thrown over by Briggs. Brilliant little punch over from uh, Missy Tula Papa. Rob Warrensey got it on the outside right and dri drives it home. Another try for the Eagles as they stretch their lead just a minute before the break. Just a little try there, um, a long pass by Briggs, uh, Tally Papa managed to get a smart little flick on and you know Rob finished it off well with a diving score at corner. I think uh, that'll just put a, a bit of a better smile on uh, Mark Aston's face going into half time for the team talk. Will indeed. <laughs> Not been best pleased with his side's performance so far Mark Aston but he certainly won't be complaining about the scoreline. Kyle Briggs will attempt to convert from this right hand side. But it's miles away from going through the posts. So the Eagles will have to settle for just the four points there. Four points better than none though and going into the break they have a decent advantage. Nicholson gets good distance into the Eagles half and forward come Batley now. Driving forward through number 22, which is Jordan Grayston. He's eventually blocked and ball moves on. Now Kane Southernwood gives it across and forward comes James Brown driving through the centre. James Brown, can he get it over the line? He can't quite. Ball two or three metres away from the try line and Forward come Batley again, it's number 16 who has it, Sean Heskith. And this time he tries to get it through the, over the try line, just between the posts, but doesn't quite manage it this time. And through the centre, Batley try and drive at the Eagles defence again. Again they stand firm though. There's Number 12, Sam Scott driving at the Eagles defence. John Davis takes the tackle, but Ford come Batley again. This time they will get it over the try line, surely. Yes, they do. It's a try for Batley Bulldogs. Five minutes into the second period here. Game back on in terms of in, uh, in Batley Bulldogs terms. However, Sheffield Eagles will be very disappointed to have allowed a try so early on in the half. Uh, yeah, it's uh, just in discipline for ourselves, you know, we we did we started off well, first couple of sets and then uh, we're going throw a stupid forward pass there. And then again we're not we're not winning a rook, uh, we're having men left on floor and it's letting them play the ball quick and getting on the front foot. So Bulldogs will look to convert and immediately back in this game after the break. Not what head coach Mark Aston would have wanted. Sloppy play from the Eagles, it's costing them points at the moment. It'll be Scott Leatherbarrow who will attempt the conversion, should get it from here. And he does, so Batley get the six points, and all of a sudden they're only four behind the Sheffield Eagles, and we have a game on our hands again here. Forward they come now, it's number eight Keegan Hurst who will come forward but he's stopped well by James Davey and they'll try and come out to this right hand side now Will Batley but again solid at the back from the Eagles. But here they come, can they drive through, he can't quite, it's 
number nine, Anthony Nicholson, who tried to just find a gap there, but there was players in, in his way. And now number 12 for Batley's tried to come through. Has he, has he got it over? He hasn't. And infield to Aston. And now Tula Papa try and get the ball forward and near that Batley try line, but again tackled by Campbell. Walker puts it through the posts and adds to the scoreline for the Eagles with four minutes remaining. The ball is fed in and the Eagles will get it out onto this left-hand side through Briggs. And now Tuggergay drives it forward. Yer is there and will drive through again. Tuggergay, Scott Turner, Tuggergay, they finished it off. Brilliant end to the match for Sheffield Eagles. It was Tuggergay who passed it to Yeri, got it back, dummied the pass to Turner and he went himself, places it across the try line and the Sheffield Eagles are going to have victory again here at the Keymount Stadium. Quentin Laulu Tuggergay with the try. And that will put them a conversion still to go. And Bulldogs. And there's a the siren. So... Sheffield Eagles do have victory here. It's been scrappy, it's been not the best rugby, it has to be said. But victory nonetheless for the Eagles. Three and three, and two wins at home. Just what Mark Aston was looking for. I'm sure they'll look on the training ground to improve the way they played, but it's been victory nonetheless for the Eagles. And they'll look to finish off with a conversion and they can do it's Walker with the conversion nice end to the game for the Eagles struggle at times to maintain possession and keep Batley off the ball but victory is 28 points to 16 the final score here at the Kimo Stadium the Sheffield Eagles now move on to Another game next week at Workington with three wins in the last three games. Full time at the Keymote Stadium, Sheffield Eagles 28, Batley Bulldogs 16.